Hello, welcome to Switched On, Paul speaking, and welcome to a look at an upcoming game on the Nintendo Switch. This is Bus Driver Simulator. This comes from Ultimate Games, and they're not mucking around on price this time. This is going to set you back £25 or $30. A lot of the uh, games that Ultimate Games publish are usually sort of uh, the lower end indie titles, but this one has come in at a, at a higher price. Trying to um, almost emulate the uh, bus driver uh, bus, what's it called? Bus sim, bus drivers, bus driver sim. On the PlayStation Four and PC, is very much based on that. So we're going to take a look at it, and I will show you what this one is all about. Uh, very basic setup here at the start. Basic um, intro, title screen, basic options. So the main um, option is to play. We've got a tutorial, which uh, does a pretty decent job. Of taking you through all the controls that you need in the game and the sort of uh, ideas in the game so quite uh, pleased with that uh, we've got these scenarios which are kind of standalone things that um, change the, the rules up a little bit for a, a normal route but the main sort of crux of the game is this career mode you need to a bit of a weird uh, UI in this game sometimes you need to tap a button sometimes you need to hold it down to like fill a ring up around the outside which is uh, quite popular these days um, so the next option you get is what city you want to drive in. The first one is uh, Serpakov, hope I pronounced that right, in Russia. And then we've got Cologne in Germany, a little bit of information about each there. And it looks like the uh, the Russian one, I've not tried the Russian one yet, I've, I've done a few routes on the uh, Cologne map, not tried Russia. Uh, should we try Russia? Yeah, let's try that. You can toggle winter on and off with the L button, but hold down Y and we uh, will load into the game. Some nice uh, little sort of splash screens here, some nice artwork. The artwork uh, in the game, as you'll see, probably isn't the best. But as I say, these uh, these games, the Ultimate Games publish, are usually sort of the, the lower end indie games. But then you usually pay a lower end indie price. So they've got, they've got to be careful, I think, with, uh, with how they're promoting this one. So we start off here in the garage. Uh, first thing you can do, top left hand corner is how much money you've earned, so I've earned a little bit of money from the jobs that I've been doing. Uh, if you press L or R, you can change the time of day that you're setting off. And your current fuel load there, you can buy fuel if you run out, you can zoom in and out on your bus. You've got buses on the uh, right hand side here, there's a wide variety of different buses that you can buy, which is quite nice. Lots of different styles. Uh, we've even got a minibus for the smaller jobs. Old style school bus there. Really uh, old school bus. And then a really nice, looks like a more of an English kind of bus, that one. So there you go. So there's the buses you can buy as uh, as you earn money. You can buy those. There's plenty there. What is it, about 15, 20 maybe different sorts of buses? Which is pretty cool. Uh, you can only afford the very first one when you first load the game. You start with 5,000 whatever the currency is, 5,000 Ps. Um, and the first bus is 5,000, the next one's 6,000. Um, so you can't buy those. We've got the spare parts shop, so you can buy accessories for your bus. And you can also paint it in a rather stark blue color there. Or this kind of white scheme. I don't know, I'm guessing that more color schemes will unlock, perhaps. We'll have to wait and see. There's no sort of indication that I could see that there's um, like an XP system to unlock new stuff. Uh, everything seems to be bought here in the shop. So whether it's just like each bus comes with its own color scheme perhaps and you can choose between them. Uh, I'm going to stick with the white one. Uh, free driving just lets you drive around, practice custom routes. You can set up routes in the city but the main uh, sort of job that you'll be doing here is under select route. One of the things that sort of caught my eye on this game, because I always look out for Ultimate Games, is uh, they come out with some little gems, like House Flipper I really like was one of theirs, and they did come out with some gems, and I really, really like Bus Simulator on the PlayStation. Played that hell of a lot. And uh, when I saw the trailer for, for this game, Bus Driving Simulator, I was quite taken by this sort of detail. You know, you've got actual routes. It's not just sort of some of the mobile games that they've come out with these, uh, these sort of simulator games, where it's just sort of drive around and it's the bare minimum they've actually got routes you've got passengers um you know you've got to make money 
so it's pretty pretty detailed you've got these different routes here it's the same on the cologne map as well you've got uh what we've got here five different routes so we've got a railway station to lenin square railway station to the bus station railway station to lenin square again but a slightly different route uh railway station to i'm not going to try and pronounce that prog progenia progenia station and uh the railway station to oka so you choose one of those routes by holding down the R bumper. Let's just take a, let's just go from the railway station to Lenin Square. So here is the itinerary, intervals between stops. You have to pay attention to this because another thing I liked about this game, and it hasn't been in other simulator games like the truck driving sims that they've released and, and that kind of thing, is that you do get penalized. So if you hit other traffic, if you run red lights, I um, don't think there's one for speeding, but then my bus doesn't go particularly fast. Um, but yeah, if you arrive too early or leave too late or even leave too early from a, uh, a stop, you'll get penalised. So you can edit this. I don't know why you would yet. Uh, one thing that I, I might have missed in my Cologne playthrough is that we'll discuss when we get into it. But it seems to me you have to kind of hang around and it's real time as well. So you kind of, if you arrive at a stop, say three minutes early, you really, if you want to play optimally, you have to hang around for those three real life minutes for the clock to pass before you can really depart, which becomes a bit of a pain. I would love an option to skip time ahead, but we'll have a look at that in a second. So anyway, you can change the itinerary here. Uh, I'm not sure what interval means. Stop time is how long you're allowed to be stopped for. I think the interval might be when you can leave. It seems to be like a bit of a window. If you're within like a minute of the actual departure time, you don't get fined. But uh, we'll see. So, uh, tap Y, and here we are. So here's the bus. Uh, keep a close eye on our time because we need to get a shift on. But you've got a free camera here. You can move that around. You can drive in these cameras as well. You've got this um, passenger camera that you can move around. So you can view all your passengers. And we can go back to the start. Uh, you've got your itinerary there, so we need to be at the railway station pretty much now. But uh, we need to turn everything on first. So the Y button gives you access to all the engine accessories and the uh, mechanics of the car, or the bus, sorry. And L and R to skip through there. So we need to start the bus first. So we're going to hold down L, uh, hold down A over the engine. Start that bad boy up. And you can have, obviously there access to wipers. There's a the radio as well you can turn on and off. Pressing X will allow you to turn the lighting on, so you can turn the front lights, the passenger lights, the dashboard lights, you've also got hazard lights there if you need them. We're going to fully light everything up, checking our doors are closed, check our mirror, B to release the handbrake, and we are off. So we're going to make this first stop here, there's already someone waiting. So you stop, handbrake, handbrake break please uh, a button allows you to open and close the doors i normally like to jump to this outside view when the passengers are getting on it's quite nice to see them getting on and off and you do end up with quite a nice packed bus and here's our passenger camera so we need to close the doors ah get back to our front camera and we need to head off so it looks like we need to turn around I am going to try and squeeze through here. I hope we don't hit anything. Oh, driving the door open. Are we? Okay. Right, so we need to get going. We're already uh, going to be running late. So you can see at the bottom there, you've got a mini map, like a sat nav. You can see where you're going. Controls take a little bit of getting used to, but as you'd expect, nothing uh, at the ordinary end. Where do we need to go? I guess. I'm going to guess this way. I'd have sort of preferred to go out onto the main high street, but let's go this way. Don't walk out front of me. Beep, beep, beep. Oh. Could have hit him. Right, we are off and running. We need to. We are making a big serious. I'm never going to be able to swing that round. 
Right. Let's get an external view. See if we can get out of here. So we'll just, 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 just sneak out. Let's go. We're we're going to be late for the uh, school, and I'm not sure what side of the road we want to be on. Collision with a car. Sorry about that. So we're all ready. You see the the uh, on your little pop-up screen now. We are all ready. I'm on the wrong side of the road. Crikey. We are already uh, late for the school run, and we are losing money. We've got minus 386. That's our current take. I can't believe I was on the wrong side of the road. Worst bus driver ever. Okay, so now we're up and running, so we're uh, off to the races now, or off to the bus stops anyway. You can see the next bus stop coming up. I'm going to indicate using the R bumper. Stop inside the green square. Handbrake on. Yeah, yeah, we've got a warning there because we're late at the stop. I think that's everybody on. Let's get going. So, ind indicate and pull out. Now, when people get on the bus, they will pay. You'll see little bits of money pop up. That's how you make your revenue. Oh, excuse me. You can see on the uh, sat nav, we are heading. Up here, we're in the right direction. We don't care for any speed bumps. We are rocking and rolling. So we need to be at Redbridge by 8:31. It's 8:31 now, so we're going to be tight. If we stick our foot down. We're definitely making up some time. Now, you can, as you see, um, you know the game's not the best graphically. And I think that's putting it kindly. A lot of pop-up. And uh, texture issues as well in the distance, but uh, like a lot of these games, I tend to overlook a bit of that because I love a simulator. And uh, this one actually feels okay to play, despite the graphical uh, downgrade. So I do badger the guys at Bus Sim whenever they tweet. I'm on that tweet all the time asking for a switch port, but uh, until that happens, realistically. We're going to have to um, sort of make do with these third party efforts. Now, where's the bus stop? Is that it? That's not it, is it? Where is the bus stop? According to the uh, mini map, we're there. We're going to go past it. Oh, here it is. Phew. Right, so indicate we're a little bit late for Red Bridge. Brake, handbrake on. Doors open. Yeah, we're delayed again. Sorry for sorry for the lateness. So you can see people getting on. If we go back to the interior view, you'll probably see the money pot there on the screen. So 64. But I'd just like to make sure everybody's on. We will close those doors. Handbrake off and get cracking again. So we're minus 4.30, someone's walking across the street, looking at their phone. Lovely social commentary. So we can scare him with a big beep. Didn't even flinch. Right, so we need to get to Gore, Gore Kogo Street, 8.32 to 8.33. So we've got a short window there to make this. So we're going to put our foot down. So let me know what you think about this one. Um, any bus sim fans out there uh, that play the game on PC or PlayStation, let me know. Uh, we're coming out with the next bus simulator version. Bus simulator 21 is due out pretty soon, I think. We are expecting truck driver on the switch from Sedesco. That's uh, due pretty soon, I think. In the next few, uh, certainly next month or two. Oh, crunch! Straight into the back of the taxi. Another 200 lost. <laughs> We're down to minus 6.30. And as I said in, at the start, you do get penalised for like running lights. Which I do like. I like that in Sims. Keep it real. Off we go. Oh, 
we're losing time so much. We're now two minutes behind. And we even had a window for this stop. Indicate. Coming in hot, guys. Jump on as quick as you can. Yeah, yeah, delayed arrival. This is going to be... We're going to end up owing so much money to the uh, bus council. If that is such a thing. But let's have a look at the passengers getting on. You can see the bus is getting pretty round. What? I don't know what these graphics are. Some absolutely scary models. Plenty of lovely clip in there. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but gives you an indication of the quality that you're dealing with. So close the doors and we need to hot foot it out of here. We're late again. We need to be at the hotel by 8.35. Not going to make that. So you can bring up a uh, press minus. You can bring up a, a bigger map here. I think it's the... Oh, the hotel's not the last stop, is it? We've got Kropovsky Street and then Revolution Square. This bus is running late. I'd like to apologise for the late running of this service. Ah, oh, traffic light. Ooh, lost another hundred for running a red light. Well, this is not going to be a profitable, uh, profitable run, is it? Yeah, reversed into a car. So the question is, would you let me be a bus driver in your town? Leave me a comment below. <laughs> I'll keep backing into that car fine that car's got so annoyed it's flashing is that person going to walk out oh I thought it was going to walk out in the road right we're off and running right where do we need to go there's a bus stop over here okay yeah we'll get in this lane well I'm safely saying I'm a better bus driver in uh, Germany than I am in Russia and for uh, the Russians, I apologise. Right, on you get. Really filling up this bus. I'm not sure of the uh, the safety measures of how many people were allowed on. I think I might shut the door on someone. Let's go! Seven thirty-six now, minus seven thirty-six. I mean, we have. I think we have five hundred and seventy-six money, didn't we, at the start? Need to make some money up. I don't know what this road is. People just turning out on us. So I've got another stop up here. Can I? Oh, I put my foot down. Overtake this blue car. Is it going to happen before the stop? I'm going to run into the back of that bus, and I. Ah, you're annoying. Get out of the way. Well, thankfully, you didn't experience what I... Ah, oh, come on. Ran into the back of that car as well. Uh, yeah, I've not thankfully had to hang around too much at bus stops. Come on. Oh, they're flashing me. They're furious. Another stop just here. Sorry for the uh, for the lateness, guys. Brakes on. Where are we now? Eight thirty-seven. We've actually made up the time, I think. We're about on time. We might have run into traffic and backed into traffic and jumped red lights and all sorts, but we were on time. Ali G getting on at the back there. That's the main thing. We're on time. Doors. We need to get back into profit, don't we? Revolution Square next, 8.39. Next stop, Revolution Square. See, I've got all the lingo. I could definitely be a bus driver. Right, we've got a minute to get to uh, Revolution Square, which is just up here by the looks of it on the map. We're going to be back ahead of the game, guys. Oh, crikey. Oh. <laughs> He's coming in super hot there. Thankfully, we didn't hit anyone. Perfect parking-ish. 
Ali G's had enough, he's getting off. Is that like a nurse as well? People are just getting on in their uniform. I guess the guy in the yellow is like a fireman or something. Right, come on, get on if you're getting on. For the uh, the bus trip from hell. down to only losing 360 we're making it back right, we need to be revolution oh no Chekhov Street 842 ok we don't have to rush this one so yeah let me know below what you think this is out on I think it's out on the 13th oh is that someone that's a zombie there's a zombie crossing the street what is going on here in Russia Goodness me. Uh, yeah, I think this is out the 13th. I'll leave, obviously, the details on the pop-up at the start. Apparently, I'll run a red light there. Not paying attention. Um, yeah, you'll see that the release date. It's either the 10th or the 13th. Let's have a check the... Oh, there's another red light, I think. Is it a red light? Sod it. I'm running it. wish there was an English map. I know where I am. I'm getting all confused here in uh, Europe. Don't know what side of the road to drive on. Don't know where the traffic lights are. Uh, right, where are we? Chekhov Square. 8.42. We've got a little bit of time to get there. Keeping our eyes open. So, yeah, the main game looks to be you sort of uh, do these jobs, earn some money, upgrade your bus, buy a better bus. Uh, I don't know if there's any more regions that are going to unlock. I think you took out a lamppost there. Uh, controls feel okay. I know it looks a little bit wonky on the uh, stream, probably. But uh, it's honestly not too bad. The steering takes a hot minute to get used to. Because it doesn't... It's sort of a, it's gradual steering. It's almost like analogue steering. So, like, you move the steering wheel, which, uh, you know, spins the steering wheel round, and then the bus will keep moving that way until you sort of correct it yourself. So it takes a while to get used to it, especially in the uh, outside view. I find that particularly difficult. So here we go, people piling off. Look how dejected they look. They're, they're well, they should be happy because uh, they're alive and given this bus ride. I'd say they're uh, they're the lucky ones. Right, get on the bus. We're closing the doors. What time do we need to leave here? going. Oh, I see, we've got a fine for leaving too early. We needed to be there. 8.42. I'm leaving a minute early. Needs to be in the other lane, do you think? No, oh, maybe not. We're turning left, though, up here. And I think on to the uh, end of the journey, the final destination. Minus 254 money now, so we have pulled it back a bit. If we hadn't run that red light just then, it would have been minus 154. Let's see if we can make it through the rest of the, the route without incurring any penalties. Oh! Ah! Oh, took the wrong turning! Gee whiz! Oh my god. Oh, I'm going to hit another car. Get out of the way, there's a bus coming. Get a bus through there! Oh, we're losing all our money. They're still not yielding. This is crazy traffic. Oh, coming in. Yeah, so we lost another massive chunk of money there. From heading back towards the bus depot. So, we're coming to the end of this video. This is a bus driving simulator on the Switch. I'll say it's out next week. Got a nice early look at it for you guys. Simulators are always of interest to uh, my subscribers, it seems. So I thought I'd give you a early look at this one. I think we might need to go... I'm oh, carrying around here. There's a bus station around there, I think. Uh, yeah, give you an early look at this one. Let you know what it's all about. So it's £25, $30 coming out next week. And as I say, without sort of the, the legit bus... Bus sim. 
coming to the switch, which it doesn't look like it is, then uh, this might be your best option if you're desperate for some hot passenger bus action. As we let the last of the lucky passengers off. And let them on their way. So we'd get our final total, which is going to be maybe in the minus. Ah, oh, money earned zero. Wow. All that earn nothing but you can see I mean it's hard as I always say to sort of play and talk at the same time and I'm trying to give you my thoughts on the game so but when you're concentrating I've as you saw at the start I genuinely made money from uh, the few routes that I did in uh, Cologne routes that very much the same I mean I, I honestly can't tell if that was uh, Germany or Russia which is a bit of a shame maybe the uh, the snowy map would help but you know, there's nothing really, it wasn't anything really to indicate that he was in Russia apart from the uh, the place names, I guess. But the sort of the city looked very similar, traffic looked very similar, the passengers looked very similar. So it was a bit of a shame that it didn't look much different. But never mind. So, bus driving sim on the Switch, leave me a comment uh, below what you think about this one. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you're new, we tend to cover lots of simulator sort of games like this. Uh, if you look back on the channel, you'll see those and uh, more to come next week and i just want to say thanks for watching have a great weekend guys and see you all next time cheers everyone bye bye